The house is just as I remember it from my childhood. Nothing has changed. I should find Grandma first. I don't even remember having a toy rabbit. It made me feel like a sailor on a wild sea. I'll never forget the first time I saw the Eiffel Tower glowing at night. It took my I remember the thrill of hitting the ball and winning the trophy for our team. Why did the cactus break up? It couldn't handle the emotional thorns. I think it's broken. They were so young and so happy. Grandma was so charming in her youth. She could light up a room with just a smile. I miss you, Grandpa. It's broken. I broke a vase just like this one when I was a kid. There's nothing for me to see here. Christopher, I'm so glad to see you. Come in. I'm glad to see you too. How is your life? How are you feeling? To be honest, getting older is starting to show, but it's okay. I'm managing. You haven't been answering the phone lately. I was very worried, so I came over. I've missed you so much, but a lot has changed since our grandfather passed away. We miss him so much. Let me make us some tea. Wait, let me make the tea myself. Oh, thank you so much, sweetie. I don't need it. There is no water in the kettle. That's strange. There's no water. As far as I remember, there was a well behind the house. I hope the water is still clean. I need a, I need a bucket. bag full of... I'm not even interested in what's inside. What even is that? I need a tea bag. I should look through the cabinets. Champagne. It always gave me a headache. I used to love drinking red wine a lot. 
but the doctors advised me to stop drinking alcohol. Coffee? It raises my blood pressure. I prefer tea. I prefer healthy food. Grandma, I made the tea. Grandma? Hello? That fast. It smells delicious. How do you feel? It's been very difficult lately. I can hardly do anything. My legs hurt so much that sometimes I can't even stand. So I sit all day and look through our old photographs. By the way, I brought my camera with me, so maybe we can add few new photographs to your album. That's a great idea. I don't need medication. I'm as healthy as a bull. I've seen this tree somewhere. I, I need a shovel. I should ask the neighbors. Hello? I should return. We don't want you here. Get the fuck out of here. Is anyone home? Who's there? This is your neighbor. It might sound a bit strange, but my cat passed away and I need to bury her. Do you happen to have a shovel? The shovel? Uh, it's to the right, behind the house. Just take it. And don't show up here again, alright? I need to dig deeper.
It's it's the one that <laughs> What the Turn. What the fuck is going on? I need to activate the emergency generator. It should be in the locked storage room, and the keys are likely hidden among the books. There's no fuel. I saw gasoline in the storage room. Christopher, where have you been for so long? I... I was... You look tired. Maybe you should rest. It was a long and tiring drive. I'm going to lie down for a bit. I should have a little something to eat before sleeping. I'm feeling a bit dizzy. I think I'll head out to the porch to get some fresh air and enjoy the pasta. I should turn off the generator. You know, Chris, when I was young, your grandfather always knew how to surprise me. He was a man who understood how to be strong and caring. I remember once he brought me to this house. It was so peaceful here. We loved this place. I was happy with him, but sometimes there was a sadness in his eyes. That evening, something changed. I remember it so clearly, as if something important slipped away. But even now, it feels like he's still nearby, watching over me. We were so young. 
so in love. There are days when I hear his voice when I close my eyes, as if he's still here, just lost in time. Don't worry, Chris. Love always finds its way to house. The picture is lost again. It's probably the antenna. I'll take a look. It looks like it's working. I need to get to bed, but I think I should barricade the doors with something. The night was very unsettling. This seems secure enough. I'll use the bathroom and brush my teeth before sleeping. What the fuck? Glinda. Chris, do you remember how we used to spend time in this house? You always knew how to make me smile. I laughed every time you'd come up behind me with that mischievous look, like you had a secret to tell, but always kept quiet. But that day, something was different. You looked at me in a way you never had before. There was something in your hand. I didn't even realize what happened until it was too late. Time seemed to stop for a moment, and everything became so quiet. Too quiet. If I could go back to that moment, maybe I'd understand what you were feeling. But now, it's too late, isn't it? I am really...
Glinda. Christopher. We're just shadows here now. Echoes trapped me in these walls. Leave before you fade with me. Get out of here. Fuck. 